AI experts advocate pause on high-level AI development. Over 1,000 experts, including engineers, researchers, and notable tech luminaries, have signed an open letter asking for a six-month pause to development of AI beyond the bounds already reached by GPT-4. Their argument is that in the recent rush to develop AI systems, we have not had the necessary time as a global society to fully consider the risks of developing human competitive AI intelligence. The letter further argues that if private entities are unwilling to restrict themselves voluntarily, governments should step in to regulate AI development. Some notable signatories include Elon Musk. Can I stop that for a second? Stop what? Isn't he like anti-government regu oh. regulations he, could, could he be could he be less <laughs> consistent in some way is that possible for him to be less consistent to to because to throw him a bone in this scenario he has been highly concerned about ai for a super long time and been calling for regulation for a super long time yes yes but he only calls for regulation when it doesn't affect him. So that's consistent. This regulation? Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, I'm going to pause my response to that because I want to finish the notes, but I have a, I, I'm going to jump on your side in a moment. Yeah. Um, this has led to crit uh, Elon Musk, Stephen Wozniak, and the CEO of Stability AI. This has yeah. led to criticisms that the true mo motive behind some signatories is to slow down AI development so that their own AI investments can catch up to the competition. Now we're done the notes. I'm going to jump yeah. back on that. I'm very certain that this is specifically, at least as far as Elon is concerned, yes. trying to target open AI because he's, he's really mad. mad. <laughs> Because this will 100% only target OpenAI right now. There's yeah. all these articles about how like Google's Bard is literally trained on GPT-4 outputs. There's th There was this website, I don't remember what it was, I don't think it was ran by OpenAI, but it was like a collection of people's conversations that they had had that they submit to the website so people can see all these different conversations yeah. that have been had. And they were training it off of that website. They were trying to get Bard's results more similar to, to, GPT. The, to the results that they were seeing in that website. Right. And they got oh, caught man. doing this. And OpenAI, like, knows they did it. Like, they are absolutely the target of this. Also, I have no faith whatsoever that we, because we're talking about the global community, would be able to come to some conclusion in the next six months about how this is going to go. The global community can't come to a conclusion about Anything. anything. Like, like not murdering each other all the time. Yeah. Like, we can't agree that that's We're gonna get a good idea. With this. Yeah. Also, like if uh, let's say uh, the government of a very large militarized company or country, sorry, yeah, same diff. Um, if they <laughs> wanted <laughs> the benefits, <laughs> well, it's not me with the spicy take this week. If they wanted the benefits of some system, you think they're gonna pause it? No. Of course not. Yeah. I don't know. I in like a everything goes perfect world, like sure, let's slow it down and figure out how we're going to do things, but like people that have if if these exist, yeah. If there are competitive systems with GPT-4 right now that just aren't public for whatever reason, uh held by governments or other companies or whatever, yep. you think they're going to stop? No, of course not. Even no if you shot. even if you told them to stop and they were like, "Yeah, we stopped." They're just going to keep going anyways. Like what? What is everyone who works there gonna do? Yeah, twiddle their play play ping pong like, for six months. Like there's I, probably other stuff that they can do too. This is another thing I thought yeah. of. Like if this somehow does go through, you think OpenAI is just gonna completely sit on their hands? Yeah, of course no, not. They'll just build like other supporting things yeah. so that when they're able to work on it again, they just ramp even further. Uh, I don't know. Some of the. Uh, development that's happened around gpt4 and the hook stuff is really crazy my account doesn't have access to plugins so i haven't yeah. been able to do it myself um but watching it i've seen other people's results watching it use the plugins to think has been pretty wild uh because like i've i've known about wolfram alpha for a long time which is that like math yeah. tool i didn't i haven't used it since i was in university i didn't realize that its error output is written in like human language. Oh, that's cool. That helps GPT-4 a lot. Right. <laughs> There's also people that are already setting up tools 
making it so that even without the support of OpenAI, they have like there's a paper on this. Someone wrote a paper on it. It's extremely interesting, where they set up a system. Uh, a series of tools that all conversed back and forth so that they were able to externally make the project that OpenAI was talking about, about giving OpenAI access to itself because they just linked multiple accounts together through one controller. Yeah. And then they gave the controller the task of telling the other accounts that they're like, what their job is in the queue and getting everything built and it's all happening. It doesn't matter if you tell them to pause. They're going to keep going anyways. Yeah. Um, and if it's not, like if you put tons of watchdogs on OpenAI, I'm sure they'll find some way to work on something. OpenAI as a organization, as far as I can tell, which this could just be them trying to convince me in succeeding. I have no idea. As far as I can tell, they are somewhat concerned about the ethics of all this kind of stuff. But they're marching forward anyways mm -hmm. that's what people are going to do yep we are actually going to destroy ourselves oh like, yeah we all definitely. know that right yeah like for sure yep i was talking to you about a thing that i don't know if yep. i want to uh say yet because i don't want to like claim it until i'm more sure but uh another project that i thought that's been really cool is do you know about llama yeah uh so it's like locally ran people have set up uh like microphone arrays in their house and some someone posted a project where they made it so that they use siri voice whatever through a macbook to write into a, a, a like llama input mm -hmm. so that they could converse with it back and forth through voice and i know someone else who's been setting up a microphone array in their house so that they have like a jarvis like that project is happening now yeah you're not going to stop this stuff. And especially when you get to the point where people can just ask ChatGPT to write whatever plugin or whatever hook they need. Because like the problem right now is that these voice assistants or AI assistants or whatever, they can't do anything. You have no reason to talk to them. But if any idiot with vocal cords can just say, or, 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 or hands, or any way of inputting text can just say, uh, oh, write a thing so that ChatGPT or Llama or whatever can uh, control my smart blinds, here's the brand, find them on my network, or whatever. It'll actually do stuff, yeah. which, is, which is cool. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, good luck, everybody. I don't wanna, what, what, is your, what is your thoughts on the pause? Do you... Well, it's just, at, just it's asinine. Of, yeah. like, good luck with that. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's like... Uh, how would they even... Oh, how man. do you think they would even try to enforce something it's, it's like, like this? It's, I think it's like it's like a ceasefire in, like a, in, a, in a traditional war. Yeah, just because we're not firing rounds doesn't mean we're going to stop manufacturing them. Everyone's just going to super focus on logistics and troop movement and intelligence and all this other type of stuff so that they're as ready as... But think about uh, uh, like peace in civilization... <laughs> We were talking about Civ earlier in yeah. the show. What happens when you declare peace and civilization? You both build up as much as you can because it ends in 10 turns. Like, <laughs> it's, Let's go. It's coming. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Atomic Age Ace, I think, has it nailed down. What we really need is an AI trained entirely off of Twitch chat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just, that amused me. It was in the flow plane chat. <laughs> <laughs> like that's a way that they could work on it without making it better necessarily is something that's been brought up is uh that making an ai that is like uh good in the sense of like good natured bad natured whatever is basically impossible due to all the different cultures in the world because you're gonna be like my morals are good but that's not necessarily gonna line up with someone somewhere else so you almost need to make it so that those parts are like modular. Right. So like, oh man, you know what? I am it not gets really messy. Really. I fast. am not going to pick a polarizing <laughs> issue to say like, that could be a module okay. that you would unplug or replug depending on the part of the world that the AI is operating in or, or um, political affiliation or whatever. Yeah, else. exactly. Yeah. But, but like, is that the right route to go? I don't know. I've seen I've seen some 
some people big mad about AIs spitting oh, yeah. out like oh, objectively yeah. factual stances on some very polarizing issues oh, that yeah. significant portions of the population do not understand well enough to know that that's actually just a way better answer than what they think. <laughs> it's like like big mad. So biased. It, so, um, so it's like they they could spend this six month six months yeah. trying to tackle like that problem that doesn't technically advance it's they probably just won't bother i don't know <laughs> it uh, there's yeah it's gonna be interesting yeah the future is very uncertain i i feel bad for people that are in like you know like late high school right now because you're in that stage where you're like, okay, I'm leaving the like, the the nursery, the standard required education system, the 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 walkthrough. I the, have to go tutorial. to either school yeah. or get a job or whatever. What career path do I put myself on when I have very low experience? Because a lot of the jobs that are most at risk are non-expert style positions. But then, yeah. how do you get to an expert style position? if you can't gain job work experience. So like if everyone just replaces all the low level jobs, how do you fill the positions of the high level so jobs? So we become batteries. <laughs> Tell me more, Neo. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> we already are. <laughs> oh man. Um, right. Aren't we all just training data? <laughs> <laughs>